If you guys are not interested in new tech gadgets, new technology for your car, you should probably skip this one and come back tomorrow. Today is a rainy day, which is great for a tech review. Hello everybody, it is October 27 in the morning and I cannot wait to open this box. It is cold in here. 47 degrees in this trailer right now. Working on uh, heating it up. I feel like most of today's film will be about what's in this box. It's time to open it up and let Navdi see the world. It's way too cold inside the Airstream and heating it up takes too long. So I'm moving this operation here. This is going to be my official Navdi unboxing video. of how we drive this little device the screen unfolds I guess you take this off together with uh, what's in the rest of this box you place it on your dash and it projects image on the windshield of your car that appears like it's a few feet in front of you and it displays navigation and uh, text messages from the phone and other stuff from the phone I can't wait to test it out This thing, what I know from the online tutorial videos, wraps around your steering wheel. So it's got a little wheel on the outside that you can turn and you can click this part to communicate with the phone and nav the... Here's a battery for it. Learning about the mount. Take the Navdi box to your car and remove the short mount. Leave the protective sheet on the bottom of the mount or no. We're doing the short mount. Okay, so this is the uh, mount and it goes here. Navdi in place. There's a lot of neat little details with this Navdi installation pack, like these uh, cable holding clips that you can attach to your dashboard and they definitely help managing the cable situation. Looks like this thing is installed and powered on. This translucent part of the display has to be angled properly so you can see the reflection in the windshield. And I will show you what it is displaying right now. Check it out. See? It says Blamshore Road and zero speed. So if you angle this display differently, this kind of disappears. So I see nav, I see a little map in there. Get directions. Navdi will use your location to help you navigate and give step-by-step -step directions. Allow access. Looks like the default screen of the app takes you to Google Maps. So where are we going first? The bagel place? Whereabouts Cafe New York? Calculating route. Wow, 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 wow. Check this out, it's working. Okay, this is what it looks like on the display. Right in front of me, that's pretty cool. So excited about this Navdi project that I didn't take a hard drive that I'm supposed to mail. Keys, 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 keys. Okay, we now have to drive around a little bit. 
to get lunch and get food for the dogs and mail a few things so this is a great time to test this thing out no idea yet how to turn the brightness of the display down but i'm sure there's a setting somewhere there's a lot of settings you can play with the audio navigation calendar you can al already download the new update of the firmware are you excited that we have hud in this car now i'm excited it seems like though it goes so high in front of i would have to have my seat up a lot higher to overcome that so i can see the road surprisingly it's not it doesn't seem to be obstructing my view in any way but you're a lot you're not a lot but you're taller than me yes one initial impression that i kind of expected to be different is i did drive with an hud before in a bmw car and the way it was projected on the windshield it looked like it was focused a few feet in front of the car so you would literally you would see the picture having an impression that it's like literally on the road in front of the car which kind of doesn't require your eyes to refocus like you can still keep looking in front of the car driving normally and you can see the sharp picture right there this display is focused kind of on that little screen or maybe where the windshield is at is at best which means you kind of do have to refocus your eyes you're not taking your eyes off the road yes because it's displaying all the information in front of you instead of I wonder if that's an option. looking at the phone somewhere else maybe it's an option but for now it is it does require you to refocus your eyes from the road to something that's like a lot closer basically it's almost like looking at your instrument panel except this one is higher and it is projected on the road all right package in the mail now it's time to get lunch we are absolutely starving oh notification read so apparently Navdi can read notifications for you here's one that just came in from David here we go do you use speed grade at all or are you doing all of your color correction in Premiere? I wonder what happens when I get the first text message in Polish not sure how much of it you guys can see I think you can see it I think you can see it we're not gonna turn left we're gonna go straight and see how fast it recalculates here we go confusing the map after a quarter of a mile turn left onto cemetery road already recalculated i wonder if there's an option of turning off voice for navigation but keeping audio on for the notification reading and stuff like that so when a notification comes in it shows you who it's from and through what channel it came okay quiet messenger or um the messages or gmail or whatever um, but it doesn't display the text it only shows who it came from and what it is and you have an option of letting Navdi read it for you Navdi talks through your phone speaker or through the car audio because it doesn't have its own speaker next step is figuring out the hand gestures you can use hand gestures to dismiss or accept incoming notifications now That's every cool. car is a high-tech car isn't that cool mm -hmm. So how long did it take you for this Kickstarter thing for you to get it? Like two years. So they were working on it. It should be flawless, right? I have to say my initial impression is really great. 10 minutes of use, it's working very, very nicely so far. I love the notifications on the screen. Email, messenger, text messages, just show up on the right side. You really don't have to take your eyes off the road. This is amazing. Now you can turn any car, even an old one, into a car with an HUD display. Amazing. Today is a rainy day, so it's perfect for a tech review. Everything just came together perfectly. It's a coincidence. We drive so much in our lives. This is a great addition to the car. And I love that this can be installed in any car. It's not very portable because you can't really move it between it, between cars. Once you install it and you know hook up your cable and uh, 
make sure it's in the right position. It's not really portable and movable. You can move it, but it's not as easy as I thought it would be initially. So now Blani is driving to see how this works for her. What's your initial impression? It's not as distracting as I thought it would be, like this part of it. But I am glad that we have a seat that goes up and down, because I feel like that would be a problem for me. Just after a few minutes of driving with this, you can see how this doesn't require you to turn your attention completely away from the road into the phone you know very often you want to check something on your phone you actually put it down and look like and and look here instead of there while with this you're keeping your eyes on the road it's it's priceless our first day with the navdi is slowly coming to an end I have to say it works flawlessly. I haven't found one disadvantage, glitch, operational problem so far. I am impressed. Well, I can't see it, but the little time that I drove with it, it was nice. Rain shower will begin around 5.40 p.m. The rain will be light. The rain will be light. <laughs> The rain will be light and from us it's all for today thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you like this review of the navdi and if it inspires you to get your own awesome if it was just interesting to watch great and if you didn't like it you can let us know as well in any case hope you send a friend or two to our channel click that subscribe button and we will see you tomorrow how long it takes before someone hacks this device and starts uh, displaying iPhone movies right on it. <laughs>